The vaping epidemic reached its peak last year, and a lot of states are making changes to keep tobacco out of the hands of our kids. The American Lung Association came out with their annual report cards, and Virginia did not score well. 13 News Now anchor Philip Townsend dives into the numbers. If your child came home with this report card, you probably wouldn't be happy. The American Lung Association graded Virginia as an F overall. They failed for tobacco prevention funding, smoke-free policies, tobacco taxes, and access to services to help people quit. The only area they scored higher than an F was the tobacco age. Virginia got a D there because they changed the required tobacco purchasing age to 21. But that change didn't happen until July. All right, let's dig a little deeper. On prevention and cessation, Virginia failed again, but they're in line with most of the country there. Only Alaska, California, and Maine got an A. With smoke-free air laws, Virginia was just one of nine states to fail. That's because there are no rules in the books covering private workplaces. For access to cessation services, the Commonwealth, among 17 other Fs. Most states also failed tobacco taxes, 35 to be exact. But Virginia has the second lowest cigarette tax in the country, just 20 cents a pack. Here are some more chances to improve. The ALA says Virginia doesn't make stores get a tobacco retail license. That makes it harder to enforce, educate, and monitor retailers for selling to minors. Another mark against Virginia, we still allow flavored tobacco products. But here's the thing, a couple House bills would eliminate both of those problems. And this one already passed the House. It would make every school board give parents education info on tobacco products. For the one-time capital of the tobacco cash crop, Virginia has a long way to go, but the Commonwealth is definitely improving. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.